Oh, we said that. I said that earlier this year. You know, we have such a deep bench that we can play anybody at any given time, and they're gonna produce for us. You know, we have a lot of guys that come in and work each and every day, and it's always ready when the number is called. And you know, both of us played in two games and uh, came out and did what the freshman was supposed to. We played the game the right way, and uh, great things came as well. <clears throat> the success you had at the free throw line this season, obviously, people are gonna say you're falling back into that. How do you bounce back from a couple of misses? And Stan said that you seem to let the rest of your game talk for the free throws and everything else. You know, uh, obviously that day was going to come. You know, I've had a really good streak. Um, you know, I'm not really worried about it. You know, I've done what I need to do to make those shots. You know, just I missed shots. I was short today. So, uh, you know, I'm going to watch film on what I was doing wrong and uh, pretty sure I'll make the next game. One of the things in the past is that as long as you're doing everything else, you're going to start there regardless anyway. So that's kind of like what you did in the fourth quarter. I mean, even if they had a bunch of that hack and stuff, rebounds, drop blocks, yeah. doing everything possible to keep the team win, still staying in the game. Yeah, you know, it's my job to, to stay even because if I show signs of doubt, it shows signs that I'm, you know, I'm not into the game. That's what my team kind of losing safe. So, you know, for me to stay strong and, you know, not – uh, crumble and be upset about the missed shots. Is, like that shot. that part. Is, that, is that the biggest area of improvement that you realize that you have that role, that you have to be the, the strength yeah, you know, that they see? It, it took a while to realize that, but I do have that effect on this team. You know, when I do play with high energy and I play with confidence, it gives everybody else confidence. And you can see it in everybody's face when they play. And, you know, in previous years, you know, when I played down and, you know, it looked like things were bothering me, you know, everybody kind of moved around in slow motion. When you get into foul trouble in the first quarter, do you kind of look at when you come back in and, and in that second half, you've got to really bring it to a tone for that because you know Eric's not going to play the, the big minutes given the matchup? Yeah, you know, well, I do get an early foul trouble in the first quarter. He set out, you know, he takes me out so late in the second quarter into the halftime. You know, I make it a, a thing of mine to come out and play really aggressive about the first five minutes to get my team going again to uh, let them know, you know, we got to you know, keep, the, keep the wheels going and you know, kind of get myself going. On the defensive end first, you know, just trying to get stops, block shots, and just be in the right place to help my team get a stop. You guys obviously have a long way to go, 71 more games, but.